Put on those bulletproof vests, fellow armies, as you try to prevent yourself from getting your heart shot out of your chest once we embark on a field strip. That is, the significance of Jin's death. Oh, you heard right. Jin is dead. But don't worry, he's not dead in real life. Look, he's doing just fine. Yeah. I'm talking about the music videos that have spawned numerous theories amongst the ARMY fanbase and today we are going to do a full in-depth analysis on all three music videos, Jin's death, and the effects it has on all the members as well as show you some special easter eggs that I know you will find interesting. So sit back, get those tissues ready, and let's begin. <laughs> Any fan of BTS will understand the struggle when it comes to finding out what really happened in all three music videos and how they connect to one another. But before delving into that, I'm going to start with why I believe that Jin is the only one dead. Let's look at the opening shot of BTS I Need You, the original version. We see Jin alone in a room holding white lilies. White lilies symbolize purity and are more often appeared during funerals. In both Korean and Japanese music videos, there are depictions where these white lilies are set on fire. It's believed that burning white lilies releases a suffocating scent, and since these lilies' oxygen intake is greater than that of other flowers, it hints that Jin is dying as he is in a room full of white lilies. Still not convinced that Jin's dead? Well, let's look at the very last scene in the Japanese version of the BTS I Need You music video. The butterfly flies above symbolizing Jin going into the heavens as he departs from the real world. Okay, so we've established that Jin is dead. But what if I were to tell you that Big Hit Entertainment has been giving us more clues about Jin than you initially expected? Let's look at the release images for the BTS Begins poster. Here you can see each member having fun and enjoying themselves, but then there's Jin's poster. Serious, staring towards the viewer holding a jar of red pills. And if you look closer, he is clearly putting one of those pills in his mouth. Could it be that Jin died from an overdose? Why is it that Jin's poster differs so greatly as compared to the rest of the members? Let's look at another BTS Begins poster. Here we see all the members present. Now what seems off in this picture? All the members except Jin are looking directly towards the camera. Again, Jin has this serious look looking down away from the camera as if he's bothered by something. If you look at the images posted on the Big Hit Entertainment Instagram page, you can see that each member has their own individual picture with the same hashtags on it. Most noticeably, the word hashtag Neverland. Only these images specifically hold this special hashtag on it. Notice something odd? There's only six images. Where is Jin's photo? Sure, they have an enlarged picture of him on the top, but nowhere do you see an individual image of him during the BTS prologue portion of the Instagram page with the hashtag Neverland on it. And look, in this image, all boys are barefoot on the grass except for Jin. So at this point, you may have even more questions than before you even click the video. BTS, why do you do this to me? Let's start by analyzing the music videos and see what connections we can make from this. In my opinion, this is the sequence of the music videos. BTS, I Need You, BTS Prologue, which connects to the separate plot points, and BTS Run. By going off the theory that Jin is the only one dead, I Need You depicts how the members are coping with the loss of their best friend. What's important to note is that Rap Monster is the only one who seems to keep his head up and try not to let the death of his friend affect him like it does to the other members, showing his signs as the leader of the group. V, however, is the worst of the members, snapping and even murdering his abusive father. Although many may speculate that the other members have died by the end of the music video, I don't think that's the case. All the scenes are cut off before we can confirm that any of the other members actually suffered from a tragic death. For example, you can see that J-Hope opens his eyes after collapsing. The members are shown cherishing the happy memories they have together, and you can see that J-Hope is even dumping away his pills. This leads to the ending scene where all the boys are together, but then there's a shot focusing on both V and Jin specifically. In the opening shot of the BTS prologue, we see the aftermath of V killing his father with the blood still stained on his hand. <laughs> 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 
I believe that V is talking to Ratmon at this moment and here's why. After watching all three music videos, you can easily spot the pairings that are present. V and Ratmon, J-Hope and Jimin, Jungkook and Suga. Foreshadowed in the first music video, this BTS prologue is set in both the real world and the dream world that Jin has thought for himself. Remember the Instagram pictures I showed you in the beginning? There are the hashtags Neverland and Dream. This is when the theme of the butterfly appears. Dreaming of the butterfly represents a time of change or that you're going through some type of transition in life. Jin is about to realize that this world is not real. Remember the red pills Jin had in the poster? Well, if you've ever watched The Matrix, you would know that if you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I will show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. And where do these events in the prologue take place? Exactly, Jin's made up Wonderland. Jin is just imagining this wonderland for himself, being with his members and treasuring the special bonds that they share. Whenever the members are running around and playing, Jin is in the background, documenting everything. He only watches and doesn't take part in the activities. Now we head towards the end of the video. Once again, we focus on V and Jin. From the look on Jin's face, he senses that something is off. Notice how this is not the real world. This scene symbolizes how deep V has fallen, jumping into the water as he is torn over the death of Jin and after murdering his father. And after the credits, we see Jin taking out a picture that he took with Suga, except that Jin is the only one in the picture. It is at this moment that Jin realizes that none of this is actually real. In BTS Run, V is seen falling in the water. He is seen drowning and struggling to get up from the water, further symbolizing the emotional and internal struggle that he is going through after Jin's death. The members are running away from the harsh reality that is that their best friend is dead. Partying, drinking, and causing chaos everywhere they go. Jin's being X'd out with graffiti, which can also hint as to how he's no longer with the boys. This is shown again as when the house of cards falls down and Jin notices that something is off. Once again, the pairings that I've mentioned earlier are shown again in this music video. Ratmon and V are causing chaos in the streets without a care in the world. J-Hope and Jimin are hospitalized after events of I Need You. Jungkook and Suga are fighting as Jungkook tries to convince Suga to accept that Jin is gone and that they have to move on. Jungkook has accepted Jin's death as he knows that he will always be there to watch over them and this can be seen as he looks over the top of the truck and smiles near the end of the video. Notice how all the members are running? Jin is in the truck driving and watches over the members. Once they get back on the truck, you can only see 5 members in the back. Remembering that Jin is not actually in the real world anymore, Ratmon is the one that's driving. Now I didn't show you this clip earlier, but in the BTS prologue, there's a short clip of Ratmon writing the words you need to survive. As the leader, Ratmon keeps his head strong and in this scene, as he flips over the cart with the butterfly on it, this symbolizes that he has accepted Jin's death and he has to move on. V also has accepted Jin's death once he rises above the water, symbolizing that he has won the battle over his internal struggles. So by the end of BTS run, we can see that Ratmon, V, and Jungkook have accepted Jin's death and know that he is watching over them now. After the credits, we see that Jimin again is in the bathtub, burning the photo of what is only 6 of the members, Jin being the one that is not in the picture anymore. He burns the photo as he still cannot bear to accept Jin's death. And just like that, the music video ends. And now we're wondering, will there be another music video coming out? I just think it's amazing how BTS and Big Hit Entertainment was able to make such a beautiful, emotional story for all their fans that shows their special bond as members as we should feel very blessed to be a part of this amazing fan base. So if you enjoyed this theory video, then please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Let's get all the armies to watch this video as we can have a great discussion in the comment section below. I make new videos every week, so subscribe and follow me on all my social media. I love interacting with you all, and I will see you guys next video. Bye!